This video tutorial is all about food production within glass houses and polythene tunnels. Now you need to be able to describe how glass houses and polythene tunnels can be used to increase the yield of certain crops. You also need to understand the effects on crop yield of increased carbon dioxide and increased temperature in glass houses. Temperature, light and carbon dioxide levels affect the rate of photosynthesis. Growing plants outside does not allow farmers to control any of these factors to increase growth of plants. However, these factors can be controlled within glass houses and polythene tunnels. So first of all, glass houses. Glass houses provide shelter for plants, protecting them from sort of climatic hazards. The plants within the glass houses are immune to diseases and pests um, on the outside as they are protected within. Glass houses provide constant temperature, which means seasonal fruit and plants can be grown all year round. Within glass houses, the humidity is really high, preventing loss of water through transpiration. Glass houses are often kept warm by burning fossil fuels, which contributes to a rise in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere within the greenhouse or the glass house, which can then be used for photosynthesis by the plants. And the warm air trapped within the glass house will speed up the rate of um, reactions by enzymes. Furthermore, in glass houses, ethene might form from incomplete combustion and that's going to help the fruit ripen faster. When considering the use of glass houses and manipulating conditions, farmers need to balance the extra cost of providing heating, providing lighting, inputting carbon dioxide against the increases of income they'll get from their greater crop yield. And next, polythene tunnels, more commonly known as polytunnels. These tend to be large enough that machines can actually work inside them. They can protect crops from um, sort of outside adverse weather effects as well. So for example, excessive wind or rain or extreme temperatures. And they also prevent the entry of pests that might otherwise damage the plants or cause disease. There's always um, a slight you know, increase in temperature slightly within the tunnel which can provide optimum conditions for the enzymes to work. And the polythene tunnels allow light to penetrate through to the interior for photosynthesis. They are cheaper than glass houses, more adjustable in size and shape and easier to move. But they do provide less shelter and they tend to be less effective. In fact, plants within polythene tunnels can still be susceptible to some pests and diseases. So farmers use greenhouses and glass houses and polythene tunnels to grow crops. The reason for this is because ultimately it increases the rate of photosynthesis and so increases crop yields. The glass or polythene gives a greenhouse effect, warming up the growing area so that photosynthesis can take place as fast as possible to increase the yields. The level of carbon dioxide in the air can also be controlled to speed up the rate of photosynthesis. Now you need to understand the effects on crop yield of increased carbon dioxide and increased temperature in glass houses. So as glass houses are enclosed, carbon dioxide concentration can be really tightly controlled. Farmers can burn paraffin lamps to increase carbon dioxide levels within the glass house. As the concentration of carbon dioxide increases, the rate of photosynthesis will also increase. As carbon dioxide is a reactant in photosynthesis, the increase in carbon dioxide concentration will allow more photosynthesis to occur, hence increasing the rate of photosynthesis to then increase crop yield. However, as the concentration of carbon dioxide increases beyond a certain point, the rate of photosynthesis will plateau. And you can see that on the graph in front of you, as another factor will be limiting 
the rate of photosynthesis. We're now going to look at how temperature affects rate of photosynthesis and therefore crop yield. As glasshouses are enclosed, heat from the sun can be trapped to create a warm climate. As the temperature increases towards the optimum, the rate of photosynthesis will increase to increase crop yield. This is because the increase in temperature towards optimum will allow optimum enzyme activity for photosynthesis related enzymes, hence increasing the rate of photosynthesis. However, as the temperature increases above the optimum, enzymes involved in photosynthesis will denature, causing the rate of photosynthesis to decrease and crop yield to also decrease. <laughs>